Hey, this is Darren with Audio Designs and Custom Graphics in Jacksonville, Florida. Working on a uh, 2015 Chevy Impala. Did a system in here. Not too much in the front here. Uh, we did the uh, Hertz High Energy XL six and a halfs in the factory locations. And the uh, tweeters in the front and the dash up there. And then we actually built the uh, panels in here and machined them. We sell everything online on our website. Back doors here, same thing. We did the uh, six and a half co uh, coaxials, high energy Hertz. We sell the uh, rear adapters in there as well. We uh, did some speaker adapters here that we actually machined, dynamited the whole door. This is for a uh, six and a half. The uh, factory six bind doesn't actually play any highs, so a lot of people want to put like a uh, six bind back in there, but there's no highs to it, so it's pretty much wasting the. Uh, tweeter part of it so don't go out and buy some six blinds and stick them in the doors the actual dash speakers play the highs so um, but we have a component set here so we have the Hertz high energies uh, we machine this to be the actual factory height and this lines up and we have a foam ring in here so the factory door panel actually presses on that and it helps seal it so that way all your information and all your energy is pushed forward out of the speaker and doesn't get trapped inside of the door uh, we have those for sale on our website store.audiodesigncg.com and then the back doors here as well. Went ahead and dynamited everything. Built the uh, ring here. We actually machined them out of plastic. They expanded PVC. Uh, that way we don't use any kind of MDF or wood so it doesn't swell up when it gets wet. There's a lot of moisture in the door. But same thing here, there's actually a ring. If you look at the back of your door panel, there's actually a ring and that ring goes, pushes in here. So it lines right up and that way all your information comes forward. And it's nice and clear. All right, so here we have the um, actual output of the factory radio going into the front door mid. As you can see, it at about 200 hertz, it starts cutting off, so there's actually no high information going to those. So like I said, just don't think you can go out and buy a 6x9, two three-way 6x9. There's actually no highest information going to them, so they won't work. So that's why it's best to either get like a 6x9 inch component set or do like a 6.5 component set. But there's actually no information going to the uh, the actual highs of the of the uh, door speaker. All right, and here's the uh, output of the factory dash speaker. So you can see basically at 200 hertz it starts taking off. So that's where your highs are going to. So that way you can. Uh, what you really need to do is take a summing unit and sum the door signal along with the tweeter signal, and that way you'll get a full range signal. And then you can send that out to a set of components so they get their proper information and the crossover that's intended to use uh, intended to use with the uh, component set is correctly set up. All right, now in this diagram here, what I did is I actually did, uh, we have a dual trace oscilloscope, so I actually um, showed the door speaker in the green, and then the dash speaker is actually in the blue. And what that is, is basically it's showing the, uh, the two where they overlap, kind of both of them at the same time. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sum those signals. All right, this graph here represents uh, the summing unit. Um, basically, it's the front door speaker and the front dash speaker, and we took those and ran them into our audio mobile LDV6, and it summed the two together and gave us a full range signal, and then we went ahead and ran that into our amplifier, and then out of the amplifier, we ran that to our crossovers um, that come with the manufacturer, so basically, they'll get their correct signal that they're intended, to, intended for. Um, we actually sell the audio mobile pieces on our website, so you can check those out, too, if you're interested in the summon unit, and it's a pretty cool piece. It also comes with a bass knob, so if you have subs, you can actually have a sub out as well as a sum unit and control the bass and everything right from the uh, LDV6, so it's pretty cool. Another thing you could do is uh, get like a processor, um, like the Bit 10 or Bit 1, um, and that will actually flatten out that factory EQ curve. It has a setting in there. You just go in there, and it flattens the EQ curve, so it gives you basically a straight uh, frequency response, flat EQ. And then what you can do from there is use that bit 1 or bit 10 and actually equalize the speakers because what's happening now is basically the um, factory EQ curve was meant for the factory speakers, obviously, and then uh, the different speakers that you're installing, the aftermarket ones, are going to be uh, different and they're going to require a different EQ curve. So you can do a bit 1, bit 10, some kind of processor, and then flatten that EQ curve out and then kind of EQ the speakers from there. That way they don't uh, get the factory EQ and they'll sound a lot better uh, with their own EQ curve. We have those on our website as well. We have the uh, tweeter adapters on there too. It's 
store.audiodesigncg.com. Kept it kind of simple in the back here. Just did three hertz amps, a uh, HCP40, uh, HCP1, and a HCP2. So we got the uh, HCP4D bridge to the front components, the HCP2 on the rear speakers, and then the HCP1 on the uh, subwoofer. And then back here in the trunk, did a uh, JLW7. Did some press grills where these are actually pressed in there so they're not uh, flush. It gives it kind of a three-dimensional look. Did a little Impala logo up there. This is all stacked up. This is actually an inch and a half. Chamfered edge. That way it came out a little bit more with the sub. And then we actually sell these enclosures online. www.store.audiodesigncg.com get the enclosure and the trim and everything. We can do different uh, patterns. If you want to do a vinyl wrap, we can vinyl wrap it. Two-tone carpet, one-tone, single-tone carpet. You know, it comes with the uh, Impala logo and whole setup just like this trunk. But if you're in Jacksonville, give us a call, 904-333-2322. Check us out online, store.audiodesigncg.com. Check us out on Instagram, Audio Designs. 75. Check our YouTube channel out as well. Alright, still in the process of wiring this up, but basically in the uh, back passenger side quarter panel is the factory uh, tuner amp. And there's all the wires and everything that you'll need to access. Alright, so we have our uh, summon unit here. We got the RCAs. So we got it coming out of the RCAs here. We're measuring on the RTA. And as you can see, now it's summed both of the signals. So then what we need is a, a bit bit processor, Audison bit processor or something that'll flatten that out. That's the factory EQ curve there. Uh, so something like that would flatten it out and help the signal a lot better and you can EQ it from there. 